Take a nice big inhale, and on the exhale, we'll melt all the way down to the mat. Hug those knees into your chest, gently rock it side to side, massaging the kidneys and the spine. Hands on those shins, draw the chin to your chest, tabletop the legs, reach the arms long, and that's palm. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You don't have to have your head up at all. I'm gonna zip my legs up to a Pilates stance. I want you to press, press into the ball on the exhalation. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Exhale, breathe in through the nose, out the lips, and inhale, more controlled, more controlled pumping, more controlled, and inhale, and exhale, we'll go for one more, inhale, and exhale, and release, take the ball behind the legs, drop the calves over the ball, hand over hand, behind your head, and we'll nod that chin to our chest and we'll exhale and tap down. We'll exhale. Keep imprinting your spine on the floor. That's it. And we curl. We exhale. And we go for five and four. Use that core to lift your head. Why do I have all this static? Two. Now hold this one up, and we're just going to tap down and up. And four. Three. Two. One. Hold this one up. Rotate towards the screen. Back to center. Rotate away. Back to center. Exhale. Center. Exhale. Center. Now as I come back, let me try and fix that speaker. As you come back to center, you're going to tap your toes back down. So rotate, take your shoulder, yep, and when you come back to center, put your head back down. And we tap, twist, come up. That's it. And tap, twist, come up. And tap, shh. Tap and rotate. Tap. I know you've done quite a few reps while I got off my mat. It's okay. Extra for you today. Rotate. Last one. And release. Let the ball fall out and place it underneath your right foot. Toes are on. Heel is off. I want you to reach the leg long. The arms will go back by your temple. And then resist bringing that ball back in. We reach long on an inhale, exhale back in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, scoop. So it's not just rolling that ball in and out, it's making the connections in the body with muscles, the core, the hamstring, the glute. And we go for four, and three, two more. Keep that spine imprinting. And we'll come in on that last one. My arms are to my side. And let's do a bridge. Two counts to lift up. Two counts to come down. Make sure you're firing the glute of your standing leg. Because if you don't squeeze enough, that hamstring will find unhappiness. Lift and lower. Up and down. We're going to go for two more. And then we're going to add on to this. And one more. I'm going to roll that ball out again. As I roll it back in, I'm going to bridge up at the same time. I lower as I lengthen my leg. I lift my hips. I inhale. Shh. Out. Bring it in. And out. Bring it in. And we go for three. And two. Shh. And one. And we're going to keep the ball in and little tiny down and up and up and up. More weight on the standing leg foot than the ball foot. And four and three, 
and two, and one, and lower back down. Roll that ball back out, hug the opposite leg in. You got it. Grab onto your ankles and bring this leg straight up. Nod the chin to your chest, slide those hands up, maybe an inch further. Keep your hands where they are, put your head back down, and feel that hamstring stretch. Take your arms to your side. Turn the straight leg that's up to the ceiling, kneecap away from you. Put a bowling ball on your torso so it doesn't move. And let's make a small circle going clockwise. Round it up. And round it up. Not too big. Inhale, exhale. I want you to feel your belly muscles moving this leg. Now reverse it. Round and up. Round and up. And three. And two. Now take hand over hand behind that head. Lower that leg to the floor as I lift it back up at a crunch. I inhale down, exhale up. Lengthen and scoop. Don't forget the breath, it's part of the exercise. Inhale to exhale. Try not to push those hands against that head and use that as leverage to lift that head. We do not want to do that. We want to lift that head from the core. I'm gonna hold this one here, and I'm gonna do little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, roll that ball in, and two feet on the ball. Slide the ball to your left foot, place your right foot back down. Make sure those arms are reaching long to your side. And I want you to roll that ball out and in. Use your core to bring that ball, bam, back in. Inhale, exhale. So you have to make that connection between the brain and the core to activate that core, to feel that core working. Sometimes that connection's not there, and that's okay. We're working towards it. Reach the arms back, bring them back forward. Rib cage is staying heavy. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're imprinting your spine. The ribs don't go with you. Boy, do I feel my core working already this morning. It's feeling that burn already. Last one, arms to your side, and we'll do a two count bridge. Everything lifts up, everything comes down. And I lift, and I lower. Now this is my weaker leg, and I already can feel that inner thigh being challenged to be in that on position. So I want you to visualize your hand touching that inner thigh and pressing that inner thigh into your hand. You need to have that activated. It's not just about the glute and the hamstring. And we go for three and two. Now I'm gonna roll that ball out and when I come back in, as I'm coming in, I bridge up. Inhale, exhale, and lift. That leg should be the foot on that ball should be nice and light. Don't put a lot of pressure on that ball. I take it out for four. And in. And three. Two. One. Hold it in. A little down, up, down, up, and inhale, exhale. The back of my arms are pushing firmly into that floor. And four and three, and two, and one. Slide that ball out, hug that right knee in or the opposite knee in. Grab onto the ankle, zip that leg straight up. Take your eyes to your belly, slide those hands up an inch, maybe two, and then lower that head back down. Feel the hamstring stretch a little deeper. Take the hands down to the floor, Turn that kneecap away from you, put that bowling ball in the torso, and let's go towards the center, small circle, and up. And around, to come up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Now reverse it. 
Remember, the hips don't go with you. The pelvis doesn't go with you. We are anchoring it down. Two more. Good, hand over hand behind the head. We'll lower this leg towards the mat. As we lift up, we crunch up. Inhale, down for two, exhale, up. Down and up, good. Make sure the core is picking up that head off your mat. Four more. Lengthen those legs long. Three more. And two. We'll hold this one up. If you're able, give me little pulses. Come up a little higher. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Two feet on the ball, bring the ball in. All right, so let's have our legs in parallel. Toes are on, heels are up. I'm gonna reach that ball nice and long with both legs. I'm gonna crunch up. I'm gonna reach it long. I'll add more crunches up. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen, scoop. Elbows are wide. Try to not have them hug the side of your head. And three. Good. And two. And one. And I'm going to reach my arms for the ceiling as my legs are out. Now I'm going to be in a Pilates stance. And I'm going to drive my heels further to the front of my mat. Make sure your shoulders are down. You want to connect them to that rib cage. I'll nod my chin to my chest on an inhale. Find that lower back. As I exhale, I'm gonna bring these knees like a frog, so my knees are apart. And I'll lower it, connecting my inner thighs again. And again, eyes to belly. Exhale, roll. Keep those heels connected. Wrap those thighs coming down. Inhale to exhale, I know, these aren't easy. Can you give me just one more? Eyes to belly, inhale, yes. Now take those hands behind you, get those toes on that ball, heels higher, and we'll press out and come in. Again, I am using that core, the back of my legs, to bring the ball back in. Now, I'm gonna come up a little higher, put my knuckles behind me, zip up that spine even taller. Now, as we go rep to rep, try to have less support coming from those arms. So feel like you're not pressing into the floor as heavy. Now, if you can, stay upright, take the hands off. Four, uh-huh, three, two, one, now hold it in. Now you're gonna slowly press the legs back out. You're gonna pull one elbow back and you're gonna follow that elbow. It's like a bow and arrow. And then come back in without sinking like this, okay? The opposite elbow. I'm gonna come up taller as I rotate and then bring it back out. And again, inhale, exhale. Taller, taller, taller. No, don't slouch when you come back in. Oh, I know. <laughs> Inhale. Yes, mirrors do help see where you're at. I know. Grab onto your ankles and then slowly lengthen the legs. Push the back of the knees down towards the mat. Use those hands to pull your torso closer. Reach those arms straight out and then C curve. Start to melt the waistline back. Don't lie all the way down, stay with me. Good. Now, I want you to roll the ball in. Don't move the upper body, and then roll it out. Shoulders melt. Exhale in, inhale out. Good. Shoulders are connected to your back. You're in a C curve, so draw the chin to your chest, push the navel deeper. And I go for four. If you need more support, put the hands behind you. And three. Good. And two. 
and one. Hug behind the right thigh. I'm gonna get my other foot just a little more on that ball. Then I'm gonna slowly roll all the way down. Pull that knee closer towards you. Hand over hand goes behind that head again. <clears throat> now I cue a lot lifting your head up, but remember I always say you don't ever have to lift your head in Pilates, okay? So I'm gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, <clears throat> nod that shin to my chest. Keep the right knee still. Bring the ball in and out. Now as you're rolling it out, I want you to feel the length of the leg away from the hip. <clears throat> That's it. Now if you want other variation, when this knee comes in, my other leg is going to go out and then keep switching. And I'm going to try to have my shoulder blades off the mat, but the base of my shoulder blade should touch. Good. When that ball comes in, I'm going to exhale. And three, good. Two, one, pause. The knee that's bent, straighten it up. Now it's going to go straight as that ball rolls in. And now I'm going to exhale when the leg is coming up. Good. Four, roll it out. Three, two, and one. Both legs on the ball, lower your head, and arms will go to your side. That wasn't so bad. So I'm gonna keep my right foot on the ball, pull the left thigh towards you. Big tug. If your neck needs a break, just keep it down for a while. I'm going to take hand over hand behind the head. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, crunch it up. Don't move the left leg. Roll that ball in on an exhale. <clears throat> inhale out. Exhale. Inhale. Eyes to navel. That's it. Elbows wide. Don't feel any strain in that neck. Try not to look up at the ceiling. You don't want that neck to be parallel to the floor. Bring it in. Now if you want, when you bring that ball in, the opposite leg reaches out and we keep switching. That's it. Inhale. Exhale. Can you feel anything in the core? Not the back. Don't feel it in the back. That means you're arching, right? Push it heavier. <laughs> now hold it. Straighten this leg. We roll it out and then bring it down. Exhale as the leg comes up. <sighs> Lovely. Five. Woohoo! Feel that burn in that core. Burn, baby, burn. Like a little disco inferno. One more. Ball out, both legs on. I'm going to reach my arms back behind me. Let my rib cage arch that back. Slowly circle the arms around. Slowly bend the knees in. Grab onto your shins. Let your feet come off the ball and hug it in. If your neck needs a little bit of a release, look to one side of the room. And then look to the other. Okay, grab the ball with your feet, hand it to your hands. I want you to bridge up and place the ball under your pelvis. Good. And then tabletop one leg at a time. So the belly's pulling in and up, chest is open, back of the arms are pressing firmly into the floor. We're gonna do little toe taps. Both feet go down, my thighs are together, bring it back to table. Now if two at one time is too difficult, go to a single alternate. Remember when you tap down, don't take the pelvis with you. Don't take any of the hips with you. Keep everything very still. I go for four, three, 
in two, and one. Now I want you to take these toes towards the floor, but don't touch the floor. And then reach those legs long, squeeze your booty, bring it up, and then table. Hover the floor, don't touch it. Now as I reach out, my thighs are squeezing, my glutes are firing, I bring it straight up, and then table. Hover, keep the ribs in, reach up. So do you feel that connection with the core, the glutes, and the inner thighs right there? Zip it up, take your time, table. One more, hover, press out, in, and table. Now, take your legs like a frog, heels are connected, and we're gonna push out and in. Inhale, exhale. Same thing, when I'm pressing my legs out, I feel the wrapping of my thighs, my seat activating, as well as my core. Inhale to exhale, and three, and two. Now hold this one out, we're gonna flex point, flex point, flex point, one more, and bring it in. And again, press out, flex, point, flex, and I pause. Oh, can you feel those inner thighs? Wow, and bring it in. And again, reach long and go. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. That was so awesome, we're gonna do one more rep. Okay, don't you think so? We should. Press out, here we go. Butt, belly, thighs, and, and, now hold it out there and give me these little heel beats. We're clapping those heels, eight, seven, get those legs higher if you need it. Four, three, two, bring them straight up. Woo, okay. I still have my shoulders pushing down to the mat, the back of my arms pressing, my thighs are wrapping. Let's lower for three counts. One, two, three, zip it up. Inhale, two, Three, lower, 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 lift. The thighs and the glutes are supporting those abdominals going down are yours. Lower, 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 lift. Try to stop right over the hips. One, two, three, lift. One more, good. Now start to bring these legs closer towards you, closer towards you as far as you can go. Now, if you want, you can press right back up, or I'm gonna take my legs closer to me, make sure I know where that ball is, it's not gonna roll away. And I take my legs behind me, open up as wide as my frame, come back down, sweep out to 45 and connect those thighs again. So I'll bring it up, straight up, keep it coming towards me, and I'm going to peel off that ball, open the legs, Roll down, make sure your ball is still there, and connect out here at 45. Up, two, three, reach it towards you, peel off, open the legs, roll back down, bring them back together, one more. We come up to 90, we keep it coming, keep it coming, can't go any further, push through, open the legs, pull the ball out. Slowly melt coming down. Woo! And hug in. Nicely done. Okay, rock yourself up. Turn to face me on your side. Everyone still with me? <coughs> Check in. If you need a drink, grab a drink, right? Don't wait for me to tell you, get a drink. Okay, so this is gonna go at the very bottom of our rib cage. My bottom leg is gonna stay bent, my top leg is gonna go straight. I'm gonna prop myself on my elbow, my other elbow comes like this, okay? What I don't wanna see is this. I am just pressing into my ball and I've totally collapsed everything, okay? If this is not a cold position for you, get rid of the ball, lie completely on your side. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna keep my rib cage nice and lengthened, hips are stacked. Lift your top leg, hold it right here. With me so far? Okay, I'm 
want you to flex that foot. We're going to sweep it forward, touch the floor, bring it back up, hold center. Do that again. Exhale, lower, lift, inhale. Shh. Inhale, regroup. And shh. reach it long. One more. Push that opposite leg down into that mat. Now hold it here. Now I'm going to reach it behind me. Lower, down, flex forward. Point back. Now the breath on this one. I want you to inhale back. Exhale back to center. Tap, lift. Squeeze that booty. One more. Now hold center. Foot is still flexed. We're going to make these big circles. Round and come up. Round and up. I want you to feel everything along this side of your body. I want you to also feel this part staying lifted. And two. And one. Reverse. And up. See how I pause. That rhythm is round to come up. Round to come up. And three. And two, and one, and release. The elbow that's on the mat, reach that arm for me. And I'm gonna go now over the ball and have this lovely stretch. Anything is touching the mat, you can use as an anchor. I'm gonna lift up, two, three, over. Here's the breath. Exhale, inhale, good. Nice long line here. Exhale, two, three, inhale. Don't people know you guys run Pilates? <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. How many times is my phone ring, as I said before, every Saturday morning while I'm teaching? Like, people, here we go. And up, 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 and over. We've got two more to go. And down. Now this is my last one. I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to do these little tiny pulses. Eight, seven, six. Make sure you're not leaning back, hip over hip. Four, three, two, and now stretch that arm over that head. Ah, lovely. Take the hand over your head to the floor and lift up and stack those legs again. I want you to reach that ball up to the sky. My knees are stacked. Shoulders are connected to my back. And I just want you to lift up, tap the ball down, and then lower. Good. Watch that bottom shoulder. And lift. And lift. And I go for four. Three, two, hold it here. Keep the ball against your thigh. Straighten your top leg. Without collapsing, see if you can slide the other leg behind you. Push into that ball as you press the ball into the thigh, the thigh into the ball. Yep, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, other side. <laughs> I love the faces. <laughs> okay, we're there shaking our heads, sticking our tongue out. Okay, we got it, we got it. All right, you ready? Elbows in a straight line, take your top leg straight out. Keep that rib cage light on your ball. Feel your chest open up. Push the bottom leg down, bring this top leg hip height, flex your foot. We'll swing that leg forward, right in line with our hip, drop down, lift up, point back. Exhale to inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take your time. And we're trying to keep that leg 
hip height as we move it forward and back. One, two, three, good. Point, one more. Out, down, up. Now we're gonna take it to reverse. We'll point back, tap, up, flex to center. <clears throat> Inhale, back, yes. Exhale. Inhale, boop, boop. Tap, tap. So you're extending through that hip. It feels great. Make sure the hip doesn't go with you. So you can only go back as far as that hip stays over the bottom hip. One more. Inhale. To exhale, my foot is flexed under these big circles. Round to come up. Round to come up. Feel your belly stirring like wet cement. Stirring that wet cement. Four. Three. Two. Can we reverse that? Round to come up. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. The arm that's on the bottom is going to reach forward. We'll go over that ball. I feel a lovely stretch in this side. Now make sure you didn't lean back. You want to make sure in the center of that rib cage and make sure your hips are stacked. We're going to come up, two, three, over, two, three. Make sure the elbow is sliding across the ceiling, not to the wall in front of you. So let me show you what not to do is this. See that? I want you to keep that elbow sliding like it's gonna try and touch that heel. We exhale coming up, we squeeze the seat. Don't come up too high that that lower back pocket gets cranky. Lovely. And lift two, three, and over. Do we feel these at all? Yes. How about you over there? <laughs> She's speechless. Yeah. Hold it up. If you got it in, you can be eight singles. The glutes don't get a, a stopping point. They're constantly firing on this one here. Four, three, two, one, and stretch it. Woo! <laughs> Take this hand to the mat, sit up, stack those knees again. Grab onto your ball. Okay, so make sure the shoulders are over the elbow, and we want to make sure we're holding that lemon in that armpit, so connect, okay? We'll lift up and come down. So again, you're working those obliques again. You're working that back muscle, right? You're working, squeezing that shoulder into the ribcage, squeezing that lemon. Lovely. Can you feel things working? Maybe. Now I'm gonna lift up and hold. I'm gonna straighten that top leg. Now, if you're able, if this is not cool for you, don't do it. Slide that one back. I'm going to press into my ball. I'm going to press that thigh into my ball. I'm going to lengthen from the crown of my head to my heels. Eight, seven, hello, six, five. My body is shaking. Four, can you see it? Three, oh, it's doing it. Two and one. Woo. They don't look happy right now. It could be the weather. <laughs> Not because we just really worked hard. Okay, the whole class were working hard. Okay, so we're gonna take our feet further out. I'm gonna keep my arms long. So I'm not here, because then my ball would go down my shin. So I'm in this diagonal. We had a lot of crunches today. Our hair's kind of messed up in the back, isn't it? Okay. So we've done so many crunches today, I think our hair's messed up in the back. <laughs> And that's okay if it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna come about a few inches down. 
and then bring it back up. I'm not rushing. A few inches down, I'm gonna lift up. Now I like to, on this exercise, exhale down. Inhale up, if that doesn't work for you, you reverse that breath. Now I'm gonna try to go an inch further on this one. If that's not for you, don't. I lift up tall. So the further I go down, the more my eyes are gonna follow this movement. So my eyes go down my thighs to my navel, they go up my thighs out to the fingertips. Now I'm going to see if I can get that lower back to touch and come back up with that momentum. No leaning to the side. Now I'm going to see if I can come down to the shoulder blades. If that's not for you, don't do it. <coughs> Exhale down. Inhale up. Now I'm going to see if I can put my head down. Nod that shin to your chest. Find that lower back. Fight it. Inhale. Lengthen that waistline. Lengthen the spine. Make sure you're not dragging that head off the floor. Roll the back. Now hold it here. I'm gonna do these little tiny pulses. Back and up, back and up, back and up. Since I'm more on the up position, my gaze is straight ahead with those fingertips. <clears throat> I'm staying around. It's like I'm inside a tractor tire. And I'm rolling around in it for five and four and three and two. And one, I'm going to straighten my legs and slowly roll the ball to the tops of my feet. I'll point my toes and give me a nice rounded spine. Roll the ball back just until I can get my spine with my lower back in line. Okay? Reach those arms forward, pull that belly in, and slowly stack your spine for four and three and two, and one. Now can you flex your feet, push the back of the legs down into the floor. My right hand is gonna pass the ball to my left hand, which brings it back around. Do that again. Inhale, to exhale. I'm gonna try and stay upright. I'm gonna stay light on my seat, but heavy in the legs. One more. Now reverse it. Inhale, to exhale, four, three, two, and one. Chin to chest, eyes to navel, roll the back. I want you to take your arms like an X and keep the ball in your right hand. And I want you to slide your legs out to the corners, making an X with the bottom half. As I start to draw my eyes to my belly, I'm going to sweep my ball towards my legs and bring my knees into my chest. I'm going to pass that ball to my left hand and go back out to this X. I'm going to start to bring my eyes to my belly. My ball is going to start to move. I bring the legs together. I pull it in. My right hand has the ball now. So I'm just taking my head and shoulders off the mat. Sweep it around, pull it in, inhale, regroup, exhale, bring it in, everything reaches out. Now harder, I can come up, 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 balance, pass it to my left hand, and reach back to this X. Nod your chin to your chest. So I keep switching what hand has it. <laughs> Nod the chin. Take your time coming back down. Never dragging the head off the floor. Pause. Right hand has it, yes. Everything works as a team on that body. 
and one more. Now hold this one up. I'm gonna reach my legs out, go under the legs. Inhale. Oh, slower. They're in such a hurry to get through these reps. <laughs> and then we'll switch the direction. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. Okay, onto your stomach. And place the ball between the ankles. Ah, uh, that feels much better. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> You're still with me today? Yes. Okay. So I make my pillow. I'm still pulling my belly in. My legs are lengthening. Make sure your shoulders aren't going up to your ears. Keep your head connected to your top hand and just lift both legs up and then down. And up and down. Let's exhale on the up, inhale on the down. Make sure the neck and shoulders are relaxed. Their turn's coming soon. And three, two more. Reach those legs super long. <clears throat> and last one. So we're, as I said before, our forehead is glued to our top hand. Keep your legs still, lift up your head. So we'll inhale as we lift our head up. Exhale, lower. Squeeze your seat gently. Anchor the legs and feet to the floor. And I'll go for three. And two. And one. Now I want you to kick the ball towards your glute three times. One, two, three. As the legs straighten, I want you to lift up the head. Head down, kick. One, two, three. Anchor, lift. So make sure that when you are kicking, that your hips and pelvis, everything is just laying there. They're not popping off that mat. And lift. One, two, three, lift. Give me one more. Kick, kick, kick. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. Lift up. Now hold it up here. Reach your arms out like a T. Pull your pinkies towards each other. Come up higher. And then hover as you go back out to your T. And then pull it back out to your T. Pull it back. Open the chest, squeeze your blades. Two more. And one more. And release. Stretch back into that child's pose. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, come to a high kneel. And you're gonna turn and face forward. Grab your ball. One of my favorite oblique exercises, I do these every so often in our classes, probably too often, but I like it. All right, so you're gonna mirror me, this leg is gonna go out. Sweep your arms up and the ball is between both hands. Your back heel should be in line with your knee and your hips should like they're pushing forward so you don't have this arch in your back. So your tail should be long, belly and strong. All right, so I want you to reach away from that straight leg. Get a nice little stretch. And then come back up. And do that again. We're gonna reach, so if you'd rather stay doing this, perfectly fine. Inhale, and exhale. Now, opposite hand has the ball as the leg. And I want you to teeter-totter over until the ball touches the floor. Your hips should still be pushing forward. Bend both arms and pass the ball to the opposite the hand. Notice my rib cage didn't change. Now we're gonna take these fingertips, touch the mat, ooh, stretch. Come back up where you think you just were. Pass the ball, it should just touch the floor. So if you had to do this, touch the floor, you are in the right position to start. 
okay? It's not heavy, it's just touching the floor. Bend your arms. My rib cage didn't move yet. Now I tap in that diagonal. The ball should just touch. Yep, touch, yep. Bend, yep, we got it. Pause. Now we move. Now we press back into that side oblique. The ball should just touch. Good, we got it. But now we've done how many reps already? <laughs> Inhale. We'll just do one more. We pause in this long diagonal. We bring it down. And then come all the way up. The ball is going to go to the side. And I'm going to stretch this way. And the ball will go this way. And then bring that leg back in. That wasn't so bad. I think that was kind of pleasant. Take the opposite leg out, press those hips forward, bring the ball straight up. So we'll start with just these little side stretch. And I reach, my hips don't go with me, nothing's going with me. My arms are reaching. Pull that belly in deeper. Squeeze your seat, and believe it or not, those inner thighs are engaged as well. Now I'm going to come out to this T, and the ball goes in the opposite hand of my leg. Now I'm going to go in this diagonal until the ball touches the floor. Keep those hips pushing forward. Don't get sloppy. Ball goes to the other hand. I tap my fingers. I come up. The ball just touches. My rib cage only moves when my fingers need to touch the floor. <coughs> and then I come back up. <clears throat> Tap. And even when I'm just holding this and not moving my arms, boy, do I feel both obliques actually working both. This one's trying to stabilize. The top one is pulling me back up. Can you feel that? Anything? Anybody? Okay. Yes. We got a yes. A couple yeses. We tap. They're just really quiet today. And tap. Nothing else moved. Nothing else moved. And we stop here. And we bring it up. Wrap the ball. Side stretch. Wrap the ball. Side stretch. Okay, come into a quadruped position. I know, a lot of work today. <laughs> so I want you to go on the hands and knees, and I want you to press air out of that ball. So I already feel my abs engaged, my inner thighs, and my glutes, okay? I want you to curl those toes under, as you can see your toenail polish. Press into that ball, and I'm gonna lift my knees up, hold, and then carefully, gently lower back down. So don't go boom. Push into the ball, pull the belly in. Feel like your back is holding up that ceiling. I'm squeezing lemons in my armpits. I come back down. Press, engage, exhale, hold, and come back down. And again, press, and. And your shins are just parallel, so don't be here. It's too high, it's too easy. Back down. We are not looking for the easy route. Now hold this one in once you squeeze that ball. Eight. And every time I squeeze that ball, it's my core going bam. My inner thighs, even my glutes. Fire those armpit muscles. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Press into the ball. Scoop the belly. Press through those hands. Lift up. Squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, good. Three, two, one, release. Squeeze, breathe, exhale. Squeeze, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, straight one leg back, then the other. Pike your seat up. Heels go towards the floor. Now lift your heels. Round your spine and let your back come through the window. Make sense? We pike it up. 
Press those heels down. My spine is long, almost arched. I'm gonna round my spine to lift my heels, scoop my belly, come out to the plank. One more time. Press it back. Scoop, round, lift, and then lower down. Stretch back and release those wrists behind you. So I'm making cups with my hands and reaching my fingers towards my wrists. Good. Come out to a forearm plank. If you'd rather be extended plank, go for it. I'm gonna take my legs back, you don't have to. Make sure you're not falling off your mat so your feet aren't sliding. Okay, I'm gonna lift my right foot. Flex two times my left heel, put that foot down. Lift up your left leg. Flex the right heel, put it back down. Lift, now keep that ball tight the whole entire time. Flex, flex, return. Lift, flex, flex, return. Lift, flex, flex, return. Lift, flex, flex. One more right leg lifting, one more left. Woo! And lower your hips to your feet. And just push off that mat and give me a nice extension to that lower back. Yes. Ooh. Now come down, take your hands directly under your armpits. Okay? I want you to bend your knees. Inhale, exhale. Push through and hold. Yep. Squeeze into that ball. Lower back down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, drive through those hands. These are more tricep push ups and lower down. You can also just hold a plank. Press to the heel of those hands. Shoulders back. Squeeze the back of those arms. And we lower back down. Can you give me one more? Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press, and stretch back. I'm gonna release my wrist, my arms. Good, I'm gonna finish with a lovely mermaid stretch. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Okay, so lots of choices. You know, mermaid is usually like this with our legs close. I'm gonna take my top leg further back. The ball's on this side. And I want you to go over that railing and bring it back up. And then you're gonna grab onto that back shin. Use it as leverage to pull this arm over. Take the ball back to the mat. So this here is pulling in like it's trying to not touch the railing we're going over. Make sure your shoulders are always connected to your back. And we'll just do one more. Inhale to exhale. And inhale to exhale. Good, I'm just gonna walk my hands forward for a second. And I'll switch my side. Bring it back up. And we're gonna switch our legs. Swing them around. So make sure you're working both obliques here to hold you up nice and tall. <clears throat> Take the ball to the mat, go over the railing, anchor your hips and your glutes. Exhale up. Grab onto that shin, reach over. So try to look straight ahead and have that arm go right over the side of the head. Good. Pull this in. Connect the shoulders to your back. Inhale. Exhale. Hook. Inhale. Anchor that hip. Anchor your glutes. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, I saw this. I want you to keep that anchor down. Exhale. Hook. Release. You did a lot of abs today. It's a Pilates class. It should always be about the abs, the spine, blah, 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 blah. But you did a lot of extra. So what I want you to do is I want you to stretch through that rib cage. So I want you to put the ball 
to the middle of your back. I did say we're gonna finish with mermaid, but this is like just a little extra. <clears throat> Hands go behind the head. Now, if you are a vertigo sufferer and it's gonna cause problems, don't go over as far. But I'm gonna try and take it as far as I can and then come back up. <clears throat> so here, I want you to feel this stretch. It's also stretching across the shoulders and the chest. And I'll bring it back up. Now, if you're able, I'm gonna let my head go all the way to the mat and reach my arms out to a T or a V. Yep, just feeling that lovely stretch, the whole front of the body. And then I'll take my hands behind my head to assist. Good, I'll take my hands behind my thighs. I'm gonna slowly sit up. Can you press your legs out nice and straight, push them to the floor? Can you give me a nice big inhale? Your spine should go up, your sit bones are lighter. As you exhale, keep that same length. And one more, push the back of those legs into that mat. And release, and you have made it. Stronger you today, see you next time on the mat. Thank you. Fun today, right? Yes. <laughs>